Okay, Dave, put together this really lame project just using Apple Loops, but they're audio files just to show you how to do this. It's, it's very straightforward. So here's my four audio tracks. They sound lovely. Um, all you have to do is make sure your timeline encapsulates the length of the audio tracks. So that's up here. Um, once you've done that, uh, go up to, I just go command B for bounce and you want to make sure that, um, destination is PCM and MP3. That'll give you a, a WAV file or WAV file, however you want to say it, and an MP3. And then I do file format, whatever you want here, you can figure out always interleaved. Um, I just do WAV 24 bit 48 K. Um, I don't do any dithering up to you what you want and then go OK. Then the next thing I do is I make sure that it's saved to the desktop so I can find it right away. So I'll just call this mess, which is it is. And um, the quickest way to get to the de desktop also is just go Command D. That'll take you right to the desktop. And then go bounce. And then if you look down here, there's a mess wave file. And there's a mess MP3 file. And it's that simple. Just go, uh, you know, what more can I say? <laughs> this is probably the worst tutorial video ever, but it should help you. Um, as far as a book, um, you know, I actually, I'll give you a website that I recommend. I like this guy a lot. I'll, I'll link that in the email. And there also, I, you know, it's weird to say, but Logic Pro X for Dummies is actually quite good. And that's what I had my students use um, back in the day. And um, you can learn a lot from it. I know it's a dummies book, but it's a good one. So hope this helped. If not, just let me know.